Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Brittany and today I am in my very dim lit kitchen. You can tell it's really dark on this side because there's hardly any windows and it drives me insane. I like to see a lot of light. But anyway, besides the point, I have an unboxing and I wanted to do this on camera to show you guys because you know I'm in love with my fountain pens. I ended up getting a Peyton Street pen which is a restored pen and they are a company that acquire uh, old new stock of fountain pens and they restore them and they restore about 95 percent of them themselves so they have even vintage pens that they restore and i acquired a vintage pen so let's get into it i'm going to do a couple writing samples you can see i got some ink kind of prepared for this video and let's just jump right in right this came pretty quick i ordered it i think i ordered it on monday and I ordered it because, well, let's say I ordered it after watching Aventura Donali's video. And she has a wonderful collection of fountain pens and vintage pens. And I always, like, I Google. I, is it I Google? I goggle? I don't know. I'm just googly-eyed. What's the word? I just get excited every time she has a video. Because she's usually talking about her pens, which is just perfect for me it's just right up my alley and she talks about like her notebooks and what she's using and um, we use a lot of the similar notebooks or at least makers and stuff so yeah but this came really quick and you can see it's come in a small box how exciting okay whoa what's this Oh, neat. It's a gift for you from the folks at Peyton Street Pens. That's nice. So that is really nice. Um, I think it is an eraser and a, oh, and a pencil. That's cool. It's a Schaefer pencil, 330. That's neat. I'll test this out too. And very generous. So... I think yes okay so they have a ton of different price ranges on their site oh and it shows me directions which is perfect even though I am pretty familiar with fountain pens I am not familiar with uh, vintage fountain pens those I think require a special hand and you need to be delicate in my opinion just to make sure that you keep up with it and with the maintenance so it's showing me how to fill oh yeah these are different Parker ink for Parker pens gives the best results well do I have Parker I don't have any Parker ink oh darn we'll see how this goes I'll use Robert's signature and I think this this is a filler and it has a button so it's like you pump it, I think, a couple times for the ink to draw up in the sack. So we'll see how that goes. Let's get to the good stuff. If anyone is interested, their business card, if you're wondering. Okay, so that's what comes with it. So you get the pen. I don't know if you always get a gift, but that's really nice. And then you get some instructions and your, I got like an extra sheet here that has all my information, my order. So what I got is a Parker Lady Dual Fold Deluxe Fountain Pen in red. It has a wide band, it says ring top, and it's a flexible fine knit. Excellent and restored. I hope they're right. <laughs> I hope it is excellent and restored. Well, it's restored, but I hope it's excellent. Okay. So, this is it. Very simple packaging. Set that to the side. And this thing is tiny. 
Oh, look at it. I don't have any pen that is this color at all. I'm going to go get some of my smaller pens so that you can kind of compare the size. Okay, so I have my Parker pen. I'll put that in the middle. I have my Sailor. That's the Pro... Is it Pro Sim Gear? I'm terrible with names for Sailor. Um, Pilot Kakuno. And then I have the uh, Caveco Sport. I also have a regular like gel pen, which is Sarasa. I think it's in between these two. Um, a good small size. I think you can post this pen. I'm not 100% sure, but let's look at the parts really quickly. Okay, so you can see the center band is pretty wide and it says J-Hop. Not sure what that means, but if you can kind of see it, it's probably a reflection. Um, it has this little, I don't know, hook? Is it a hook? No. I don't even know what this is called, but it has this at the top and then the finials is just black and I sniffed this and it smells like an old pencil. You open it up, it's a screw screw top and then you have the nib which is super tiny. <laughs> Actually I wondered how tiny it is in comparison to a Caveco. I think the Caveco is even bigger, like slightly bigger. So I don't think the nib is 14 karat, um, which is a little disappointing because that's kind of what I was going for. And after I purchased it, I realized it wasn't 14 karat. And then there's a little bit of writing in the middle here, and it's hard to tell what it says. I have to look at it off screen. And then on the nib, it does say... Parker, Parker pin made in USA. Okay, so let's get this thing inked up. Okay, so this, you screw the, screw off the bottom. And let me move everything out of the way. So I'm going to put my ugly towel right here. And, oh, it's just like, I'm not sure. Okay, let me reread the directions. So I have to remember that, you know, this is an old pen. <laughs> so I hope this works. I it just didn't seem like the filler was really getting pushed in, but I have to push it down. I need a s solid surface. It's like really, really small push. Okay, so I got ink all over my hands because I had to get, it's hard for me to push this down. That's one thing. It does seem to post. I hope ink went in. And let's do a test. So... Okay, so I'm getting more ink all over. I forgot to wipe my pen. So definitely something to try to get used to. It's, I don't know, the tipping is, it seems a little bit scratchy to me. It does have some line variation. It does write pretty well. And it's not as flexible, so I can just write normal. My downstrokes would just be a little bit thicker. Like when you're 
when you are going down it does have a nice thick line it's just hard to get those upper strokes and I'm sure that um, over time it will get easier for me but yeah, it seems like there's a sweet spot on here. Can't write too far at an angle on either side because then it gets super scratchy. So this is the Robert. Oster River of Fire. And you can kind of see some of the shading. There seems to be like a tint of, I don't know if it's purple or just this really, really dark green on the edges and then it gets to this really light green. Now the pen doesn't seem to be very wet when it's writing but I do like how this ink writes in this pen. I haven't been able to get it get this ink to look like this. It just looks like a regular green to me. Um, nothing special, hardly any shading when I have it in some of my other fine nib. Oh, I forgot to mention, this is a fine nib pen. First thoughts are, it's cute. I like how it fits in my hand. It seems like a perfect fit. It's just the nib isn't exactly where I would have preferred to have it, being, you know, my first time and experimenting with a lot of other fountain pens. Obviously, this is my first vintage pen, but at the same time, it's just, you know, just different. And I'm okay with that. Um, it's just something to get used to, and it's just really cute. I like it. Oh, and let's check out, let's check these out. I'm not sure. They even have directions on the page that talks about... Parker pencils, and I think this one is the eraser. Let's see, yeah, it's the Tri Eraser from Pentel. That's nice that they even included an eraser. Oh, nope, nope, don't know what I'm doing here. My other one, you just click it like this, and then the it comes out. But this one seems to be connected oddly. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know about that one. Okay. So this is the Schaefer 330. Oh, it just shows you how to refill. Interesting. So this one is really slender. You may not be able to see what I'm writing. But it seems like it would be a really nice... Um, pencil for drawing. I'm gonna have to play with this off camera. All right, well I hope you guys found this video interesting and I will catch you in the next one. Bye!